YNW Melly trial. I am one of those guys who likes to wait a couple of days just so all of the information has settled. I wish I could have brought it to you day of, hour of, but that's not the guy. That's not me. Like there's the academics for that stuff. I will definitely bring you some um, more cogent um breakdowns uh at a later date that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you what i think about the the situation where the case is where the case is probably likely gonna go and uh what it looks like uh for ynw melly right now um it's it's a it's quite the interesting case um so let's uh let's dive in let's dive in all right So, yeah, they have declared the judge has declared uh, a, a mistrial in the case. And it's because, you know, the, the jury has been deadlocked on um, on their, you know, their ruling. So it seemed like uh, let's see how this is. This is how TMZ reports it. Let me let me increase the size so you guys can get a a good uh good vision of this so all right so listen uh, this is as of 11 8 uh, 11 18 on the 22nd all right so brow county state attorney's office confirmed this week they're gearing up for a retrial with the hearing set for this friday so um you know we'll, we'll that's that's the last part so we'll start with that last or we'll finish with that Let's start with uh, what's kind of transpired so far. All right, so back in the day, let's see, let's pause this. So let's, this is, this is the original. This is what he, um, he's been in for, right? Apparently this, it, it, this is, this is crazy. If you don't know the case, YNW Melly is a, a rapper. He was getting very, very big. And the accusations against him are that he uh, he killed his best friends. So what they're saying is they reconstructed the shooting by looking at blood splatter and the angles of the bullet holes and the gunshot wounds. And it appears the shooter was seated in the back seat behind the driver and shot the victim from inside the car. They also say evidence uh, shows the gun was fired no more than eight inches from the victim's face. YNW Melly, who was facing the death penalty, tried to have the detective excluded as an expert witness at the trial, but the court denied his motion, essentially saying testimony doesn't have to be 100% conclusive. Plus, the judge said Melly's attorney got a chance to extensively cross-examine the detective about his findings and 
methodology. So the first, you know, this is the 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 a, a lot further back. You know, I just want to kind of set the stage for you guys with this because what he's accused of is something very serious, very very serious. Um, unfortunate if it's true, right? Because these are supposed to be his childhood friends, right? Like that's the that's the um that's the that's the sad part of of this entire thing. These are supposed to be the guys that he grew up with. Um and while the trial was going, would you be surprised to know that his records were doing crazy numbers, right? The 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 charges have done wonders for his career. And the reason is because rap is one of those things that the more real it feels, the more real while all of that is going on, right? That violence, that, that it fuels the music, right? They're like, they're, they're right now they're, they're, they're in a symbiosis, right? The violence fuels the music. The music fuels the violence and vice versa, right? So it's they're in this never-ending cycle with each other when it comes to violence and rap and rap and violence. And rap and um, a lot of things going hand in hand, right? There's a lot of positive things as well that come with rap. But one of the more negative things, apart from the, you know, the, the, the denigrating of women, um the the promotion of drug use right like there's a lot of things in rap that we can go to but there's a lot of good things as well right there's the brotherhood there's the unity there's you know like there's a lot of good things about rap as well but some of the negative things are that when a rapper right has proven himself to be quote unquote real he's proven to be down he's proven to to be ready to do what he's had got to do and, 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 you know, keep it street, as people say, then what happens is, well, this, you know, people are listening to it. They're tuned in more, right? Because now they're listening to the tracks with a more intent ear. They're listening for, did he drop a hint about who he did something to here? So there's intrigue behind the case when the violence and the crimes that you're committing in real life are real and they're impacting the music and they're going into the music, right? You would think of cases like uh, Tay K when he did the race, right? When he did the song, The Race, where he's talking about, um, you know, I couldn't beat the case, but I did the race. You know, what he's saying there is, yo, I couldn't beat the case, I did the race. He went on the run and this, this mirrored his real life, right? And he's probably going to spend a good portion of his adult life in jail, right? For a lot of the crimes he committed as well. But right now, so continuing with the um, YNW Melly part of this. So his career essentially came to an end in 2019 after he was arrested and charged with double homicide. But his streaming has seen a resurgence as of late. On Monday, Melly's trial kicked off in Florida Brow County Court, where it was uncovered the 24-year-old rapper had absolutely zero RIAA certifications on his wall at the time of his arrest, but now has 10 platinum plaques and six gold, right? So what this is doing is for his career, essentially, it's just, it's, it's skyrocketing his career. Right. This stuff is skyrocketing his career. The one he, he, he has a joint that he does with uh, Kanye mixed personalities. That thing has millions and multiple millions of views by now. Right. He's got one where he talks about murder on my mind and things like that. So his lyrics, you can hear it in his music. Very suggestive. Right. He's talking about these things and he's he's it's. I'm not a detective, right? Myself, I'm not a detective. But when he talks about some of these things in the music, it would be hard for a judge to ignore a lot of it. It would be hard for a judge to say, you, you're, you have literally have a song where you're talking about 
murder on my mind and I'm going to murder my friends and he didn't do it. He didn't have to cry. And, you know, I looked him in his eyes and then, you know, like if I make a song where I'm like, I'm about to rob a store next to me. It's the 7-Eleven next to the street. On the 4th, I'm going to do it. I wore the black shirt when I did it. The guy behind the counter was wearing this. And then I saw some candy bars and I took it. You should see it in the surveillance camera. Like, yo. And the judge is like, we're going to use that. Rappers can't be mad when you're, those are your, like, when you're self snitching on yourself, right? So there's there's an aspect of the the brazenness of it, right? This mistrial is a win for him right now in the sense that all right, he gets a reprieve. Now they're going to have to do a, a, a new uh, jury selection, you know, but he's going to have to face what's coming. It's not like he's getting off completely. This is just a reprieve, right? What that means is. This is just a little, it's a, we just holding it up for now, right? We couldn't come to a conclusion. All right, we're going to find some people who are going to come to a conclusion for us. That's it. That's it. He didn't get off, right? So this continues. Fans have especially been running up the numbers for Melly's more sinister tracks. Suicidal sits at four times platinum while... His signature hit, the one I'm talking about, Murder on My Mind, is fairly close to diamond status at six time platinum. It's a sick game out there, y'all. It's a sick game. It's a sick game. It's, it's, it's crazy because, like I said, the violence fuels the music. The music fuels the violence. And all that happens is these execs, these record companies, make off and rake up millions and millions of dollars. Yes, YNW Melly might make a couple million from this, but can you imagine what 300 Entertainment is going to make from this? With Atlantic, with all these companies that that profit off of the violence and the misery of these people, right? These people are doing real things to real human beings in real in real places. And it's always interesting to me that that these record companies who provide these guys with access to like money and, and, and all of this stuff never get held accountable for any of this, right? These guys get to skate off where they get to essentially have their artists produce music that talk about killing, shooting, killing, shooting, murder, 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 murder on my mind. Like, yo, you get to escape all of that. You get to be like, oh, he's, a, he's just an artist, man. He's just painting a picture. Well, your artist just might have might have killed two people and talked about it in a in a what what seems like a glorified uh you know album release about it, right? Like you 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 essentially glorified it and, and helped him promote his double murder, right? Like if if we're being honest about it, if we're if we're thinking about all right, so this record label really just let this dude make this music like. Nobody listened to it. Nobody in like nobody in the label was like, all right, none of this is true, right? You just like, you know, you just talking just to talk. You know what I'm saying? You know how artists do, you know how we exaggerate, you know, like back in the day, I walked like 10,000 miles to school and it was probably only like, you know, a block, <laughs> you know, that, that kind of thing. Like, that's what you're doing, right? Like you didn't actually murder, like, like, but nobody did that. Nobody asked these questions. Nobody did any of that, right? Like, so I think it's very interesting that these are the, yeah, these are the, these are the kind of things that make music popular. When the violence and the music, they match, they're in harmony together, they're working in unison, the streets love it, the, the fans love it. It's like, a, they call it crashing out, right? Because this guy's, these people's lives are over. It's entertainment for regular, for, for the, it's, it's fodder for entertain, you know, for the, for these media people, right? At the end of the day, that's all it is. It's just media fodder, right? But human beings, people are actually dying over this stuff. So that's where I always come from. It was like, man, this is crazy, right? So these are the people, these are the victims, right? 
uh, a gentleman, a young man, I don't know if he's a gentleman, a young man named Anthony Williams and a young, another young man named Christopher Thomas Jr. Man, these, these guys probably had family that cared about them, moms, dads, right? Like, but what happens is this guy's the famous rapper. This guy's the famous, this guy's the popular guy. This guy's the pe one people like. So everybody, it's going to be free him this, free him that. If they, if he did what they said he did, what's that one comedian that said, what did Ray Ray do? He did what? Oh, well, lock his ass up. Yeah, yeah, lock him up. Yeah, keep, yeah, what, what they say that they have in the trial, I'm going to pull up to be like, nah, keep him in there for a couple more weeks. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't need that kind of people, that, that kind of person out, out and about, just roaming around, murdering people left and right. <laughs> that's, that's not what we want in our society. So, um, you know, this is one of those things that the community of hip hop, in my opinion, always, it's interesting to watch how hip hop embraces certain characters, certain people over certain individuals. I'm just, I'm just a bystander on the outside watching and seeing how they embrace certain people and how certain people are like on the out, regardless of what happens. Like think about the whole gunner situation, right? Think about the snitching situations in general right now. Like whoever this 1090 Jake is, he's like the grim reaper for snitching. This dude just coming out of nowhere, just snatching snitch chains. And you know, if there was, he was walking on the blocks. You a snitch, give me your chain. Just die, just snatching chains from rappers right now, right? All these allegations. Right. But depending on if we like you or not, depending on if the, the, the community, the rap community, you know, feels like what you did was passable, they'll let, you know, what your your snitching allegations go to to a certain extent. Right. So it's it's very interesting right now. Uh, the the landscape of rap. Right. So Melly and Kanye West collab makes it's, it's also double platinum. See. The Florida born rapper James Jamel Demons. Oh, this nigga name is Demons. See, listen, I'm not even I'm not even gonna put nothing into it. I'm the I'm a simple man whose last name ain't Demons. Okay. He stands accused of gunning down his own friends. YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser, right? So while it still remains to be determined what will happen with the criminal case, it appears his musical legacy will thrive. Well, it is still thriving. And now, now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are now up to date with the current situation. I have walked you through the, the, the timeline of what uh, YNW Melly has been accused of, which is double murder of his friends, YNW, YNW Juvie, YNW Sack Chaser, his music rising in the charts due to his murder charge and violence and its prominence in music and why it's such a sinister combination of how all of this kind of works and merges together. It's crazy. It's crazy to me how the violence and the music and all of it kind of wraps together into this one. Because so we can't deny that the music is always fire, right? A lot of these incidents, for some reason, tragedy, pain, it creates the best art. And that's another thing. That's another subject for another day. Like, traumatic situations, for some reason, create very, very interesting art that we pay attention to as human beings. Why? I don't know, right? But it's interesting. Think about that. Think about that while we get to the current, the current day, right? So a couple of weeks ago, before the trial was rendered essentially uh, null and void, um, 
one of the fathers of the the children who the the guys who were, I'm like I'm, let me say children let me stop saying children these guys aren't children one of those guys that um that got murdered uh, his father spoke out because you know like I said the industry picks and chooses who they want to follow or you know the fans it's a very finicky uh, kind of thing so. Boosie, a lot of other rappers have come out and say free Melly, free YNW Melly. There's a there's a huge movement for him to be freed by the industry, people in the industry who've picked a side and said, oh, he's innocent. He's this, he's that. I, I let the, the judicial system run its course, whatever they say. It's uh, it's what we're going to have to accept, you know, so let's uh, let's. Even that chat going up, free melee, free melee, free melee, free melee. Man, everybody that's saying free melee, that's to you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that look like you. And it's me, I said, y'all bitches, man. Boosie dying there, support melee. He, he, he flaw as fuck for that. But you know, he don't even know that melee. Sometimes, oh, I want melee free because that bought me some snacks and magazines at a magazine snacks and magazines at the airport what man why didn't go go to marlo mike trial so you can tell that he feels some type of way about it and you would too if the person that you believe right rightfully or wrongly so murdered your family member your son, your daughter, whoever it was, right? And there's an active and ongoing campaign by celebrities, regular everyday people wanting him free, right? There is, you're going to feel some type of way about that. Let's be honest, right? So I always, like I said, the rap industry is an, is a very, very interesting industry to be in and to be a part of. I'm not a part of it. I'm not in it. I made some rap songs, but that's not like I was never assigned, never did you know nothing crazy like that. So like I've never had that experience with, you know, the 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 rap rap game like that. So I always think it's very interesting that People like YNW Melly, Gunna, like they, when people like them, oh, they can do no wrong. They can do no wrong and they can, you know, they got the Donald Trump syndrome where they can shoot somebody and hey, those people still vote for him, right? But a guy like 6 9 oh, they, he's vilified, right? And if you don't like 6 9 that's, no, I mean, it's, it's understandable. But if you listen to a situation, it would make sense as to why he did what he did, you know, in the sense that if people that I call my family, my friends and my homies were sleeping with my my baby moms and beating me up, robbing me, jacking me, you know, my friends, we, my friends don't beat me up and don't rob me. That's that's just like a basic you know like this is that's just a basic requirement to be be a, my, one of my friends don't beat me up and don't rob me and don't sleep with my baby mom like I'm, i mean i think i feel like those are super easy ones to just like not do if we're supposed to be friends but um it's it's an interesting interesting case and i know that you know i've kind of broken the timeline up and the reason that he, he he's getting some heat for this is, she, like I said, he's showing support for um, Melly during this double homicide trial. Um, and I just wanted to bring that to you guys just to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to that support that a lot of these people have. And some people will feel a type of way about it. That's that like, that. like, yo, you, this dude supposedly murdered my son. Everybody like, free me. You people rocking free shirt. Like, yo, yo, I. If I saw that, um, I don't know how I'd react, right? So 
Now, after the trial had been ongoing, I mean, this trial is probably one of the most watched trials since <laughs> the OJ uh, kind of trial. And that had like a racial component and a male female component to it as well. So that was um, mega, you know, there's huge for a different reason. So um, YNW's, uh, YNW Melly's year long double murder uh, case has just ended in dramatic fashion. He's off the hook for now because a judge just declared a mistrial. The rapper got the good news Saturday in Broward County courtroom where the jury actually came in on a weekend to reaffirm they had not been able to come to a unanimous decision. This after starting deliberations on Thursday. Oof. Following uh, closing arguments, it's one of the wildest hip hop murder cases to happen. Melly and his co-defendant, Cortland, a.k.a. YNW Bortland, Henry were accused of killing their friends, Christopher Juvie Thomas Jr. and Anthony Sack Chaser Williams in South Florida circa October 2018. Investigators used forensic evidence to argue Melly and Henry fatally shot the pair in the back of a Jeep Compass and staged the scene to look like a drive-by. The killings at the time were described as gruesome and alleged to have been carried out in cold blood. Let's watch this little video. So apparently, however, that wasn't enough to sway the jury, at least not all of them anyway. Melly has been locked up since February 2019 while he awaited trial, but the time away didn't hurt his rap career. We just talked about this, right? We just talked about how it didn't hurt his rap career. Fans have streamed his music faithfully and ran the numbers up. His discography now has 10 platinum and gold plaques. Uh, when he had zilch, when he initially was arrested for the murders. Remember, he was facing the death penalty. So high, high, high stakes. Now, Melly's a free man. That is, assuming prosecutors don't go after him again, again, which they certainly can. It's unclear if the state plans to do it all over again. So, um, yeah, they're they're planning to uh, definitely. Definitely. So they have confirmed. So this is the most up to date information right here, right now, right here, right now. Let me go full screen so I can right here, right now. This is the most accurate, up to date information on YNW Melly's face. Let's read. Broward, <laughs> Broward County State Attorney's Office confirmed this week they're gearing up for a retrial with a hearing set for this Friday. All right. So here's a here's a report. After a Broward judge ruled a so um, I don't know if this is going to get copyrighted. So if it does, sorry, you guys aren't going to get to see this. But if you don't, I will speak definitely post the link in the chat so you guys can go watch it but i'm going to try to post it here watch it here and if if nw nwc or nbc nwc and nbc copyrights it then you guys know what happened 
trial in the double murder case. That decision came after the jury failed to reach a unanimous decision. NBC 6's Marissa Bank is live in Fort Lauderdale with new insight on what will likely happen next. Marissa. Well, Jawan and Trina, any defense attorney will tell you that a mistrial is a better result than a guilty verdict, but it also means a complete do-over, both sides starting from scratch, hoping for different outcomes. Did the state prove beyond a reasonable doubt? It's as if the month-long double murder trial against Jamel Demons never happened. On Saturday, Judge John Murphy declared a mistrial when jurors couldn't agree on a... Why she say, like, his name is Demons? His name is Demons. <laughs> that man named Demon. Nah, man, y'all better stop playing. Verdict as to whether the South Florida rapper known as YNW Melly was guilty or not guilty of double murder. There was somebody in that room that was gung ho that this should have been an acquittal. That's what that says to me that there was people that didn't buy the state's theory that were never going to be in a place to even discuss the case. The state alleges Demons shot and killed two childhood friends in October of 2018 and then staged a drive-by shooting to cover up the murders. The defense alleges Demons was home sleeping at the time and that a co-defendant named Cortland Henry is responsible. The state attorney's office confirmed for us they will retry this case a second time. Both sides will likely refine their strategy. You know, the hard part of a mistrial like this is the state has showed their cards, for lack of a better term. They showed their strategy. They showed their good facts, their bad facts. That being said, so did the defense. They highlighted their strategy. So both sides now kind of know the playbook that the other was working with. What is certain, a second trial means added costs for the taxpayers. And one courtroom uh, was shut down for, I think, almost six, seven weeks in this trial, and then coupled with the jury being sequestered, uh, hotel stays, extra BSO security to make that happen. So if they try it again, there will be definitely a cost to the taxpayers of Broward County. So there is a status hearing that is set for Friday morning, 9 a.m. in Judge Murphy's courtroom. So yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty clear. The, the defense feels like they won this. I mean, it's better than, like she said, it's better than guilty, but, but it's still, it's still something that they're going to try. And, um, you know, um, best luck to YNW Melly. Uh, the law will run its course. Let, you know, I think that's what, um, if anybody's expecting me to go, oh, he's guilty. I don't know if he's guilty or not, right? There is a... <laughs> great preponderance of evidence that points in a certain direction but i am not part of the jury i can't make these decisions so i will wait for them to uh come to their deliberations and then give it to us right now it seems like what the 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 state is saying isn't adding up to the jury so the state isn't doing what they need to do to prove without a reasonable without a shadow of a doubt that YNW Melly is guilty of the situation. And if it's, it's not, the thing is, the way the law works in America is, it's not up to me to prove whether I'm innocent. It's, it's up to you to prove that I'm guilty. So if you can't prove I'm guilty, peace, I'm gone. Like that's not, that's how it works. And that's, that's America for you. So this case is gonna be interesting, guys. We're gonna have to sit tight. For now, he's probably going to be free. I think they're going to release him. So he's going to be free. He's going to uh, probably have time served. So if the trial comes back and he has to be rearrested, they'll probably reissue something for him. And now both uh, the, the defense and the prosecution have to go back to the table. They have to sit down. They have to now re-strategize. How can we come at this? What did we miss in the, in the fact-finding in the beginning? What did we miss right when it comes to the to the defense where can we poke holes into their stories who who have we not talked to right so these kind of situations these kind of cases they take a long time in in court they take years to finally adjudicate and get the final result and we are going to be in for a long long ride and even if he escapes a state uh kind of a prosecution 
Who's to say that they don't they can't sue him in a civil situation and win in a civil situation, right? Because there's you can there's been several situations where people lose in uh state and federal court, but then they win in civil court. So um this this I feel like is gonna be a, a case and a topic for a very long time. You know the moment he, he gets out, there's gonna be new music, there's gonna be tours. This is going to be a windfall for him. And, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting, interesting next uh, couple of weeks to see what's going on, to see what the temperature's like and how, um, you know, hip hop and the industry is going to receive him. Obviously, you can see people, hey, people checking for his music, people waiting for him to come out now. And he kind of left before like the podcast era was crazy crazy because like last podcast i think interview he did was on like no jumper before he left i think he had just done the kanye west video and i i for some reason remember seeing him on the no jumper podcast it was super awkward podcast for some reason but i just that like that podcast stuck out to me just because of like the stuff at the time and i don't even think we knew we might have known about the accusations back then but i don't remember little scatterbrain myself but yeah um interesting 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 case um i you know i want i want to know what you guys think in the comment section do you guys think he's innocent guilty um do you what do you think about the dynamic of the rap and the violence and the all of that intertwining together to make the music does that make it more fire right is there a way to make like gangster rap without the gangster you know what i'm saying like is that even possible you know, do people want that? Is that something that we've come to accept, right? We've come to accept as a, a necessary portion to make this music more authentic. And I think um, in conclusion, that's where I'm going to leave it, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. It's your boy, Ty. It's Contentious Conversations. And I'm out.